I had a lot of viewer questions about uh, like how m- m- males treat ex girlfriends, like how they'll just completely slay them and and like mischaracterize like their whole situation to make them look bad or crazy or okay. yeah, Go just ahead. to impress their girlfriend, <clears throat> right? Like their, their current girl or the girl they're they're after. Yeah. But then after a year or two or three that you're with the girl, like why are you still doing this? Like, why do you still talk of the person like this? If they were brought up, or, like, and they like, like you knew you were doing it just to bag your girl to make her make sure she knows that you don't fuck with the other girl. Okay, but why are you still doing this? Wow, especially if you have like a child together or some shit. Like, this is like Ooh. it's negative energy. That's like very toxic. Okay, yeah. that sounds. Uh, I agree. It is toxic. Yeah, yeah that's. Hmm. And I and I know we know people like that. There's yeah, a lot of people do. that just like, yo, I don't fuck with her. She's a piece of shit. Yeah. And you know it's not, it can't, it's not even really like that. Mm-hmm. But first of all, if you have to, from the jump, you have to like talk negative about a person to bag a girl, yeah, you lost. Because then you have to keep up that life for how long, bro? Like you said, two to three years, you still have to be talking about it. You still have to kind of bring that up again. That shows like that you're like stuck in time. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So if another person, you know, I'm sure that the girl will pick that up instantly. If you're still talking about your ex three, four years ago, as of you, you know. See, I was, uh, yeah, because I know, like, if if you're, you're bringing up the ex, whatever, yeah. there's something, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Keep bringing up. But I'm saying, like, let's say it's brought up anytime her name is brought up or yeah. anytime, you know, you walk by or whatever, like, you're always on some negative shit, like. Exactly. That's on you then. That, that, yeah. You just got a bad spirit. You gotta, yeah, you, you definitely, like that, uh, uh, yeah. You got to chill with that. But I know some people who do that too, man, and it's tough. Because they have such strong feelings about the way shit ended exactly. or what was going on, so they yeah. just. But you know, it's not. It doesn't really. The only person that's really being affected by that is mm-hmm. you. You holding all that negative energy, and you got to let that go. You got to let that go. What you think? Yeah, man. People got to live in the now. Can't, oh, can't live in the, the past. The memory. It makes me think of the uh, the shit that we were talking about, but I don't even know how to frame it anymore. We're talking about uh, the double standards between males and females and regular right. shit. Okay. We can do that for like four episodes. How crazy the double stances are. Right. Like So launch it. Right? Like for you wanna start fresh? Like can you say no to sex to your girl? Yes you can. Do you yeah, want to? Fucking right. Do you yes, want you to? Can. No, you don't. Your girl pulls up on you and says, I want some dick, you can say no. Y'all niggas is some... some Listen, you can say no, you can but say you no. don't want to. Your girl says... No, you can, but dick. you don't can want you, to. Do you say no? No. Never, right? I would never. No matter what. That's crazy. Right? Right. But... You can't say your dad... Now, you has there times that you ran up on your girl like I'm trying to get some pussy and she just says no? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. If you said no to your girl on some pussy, she's going to think that you're cheating. Yes. You're acting mad, funny style. All, all like, of the above. What's wrong with you? Are you... <laughs> A homosexual now or something? You yeah. don't like vagina anymore? Yep. And they pounce. You know what, I mean? they, what is it? They pounce. They're like, mm. Mm. They do all of that. Yeah, see, like, listen, when they want it and they don't get it, they take it. Yeah. You can't do that as a man. You can't say no. If you say no, you a punk. And then the co-worker smashes. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Damn, yo. For real? Just the reality the of life. Just the re- immediately? The reality of life. Oh if you ain't smashing God. your girl, somebody else's. That's a fact. That is a fact. So smash a girl. They had a mierda. Put on the big boy pants. Not a yeah. You know, like uh, OG always once told me, <laughs> and I always remember that he said, "It's never your girl. It's just your turn." Oof. No matter what. Oh my just god. Just think of that. It's, it's trash oh to think god. like that, but it's like, ugh. It'll prepare you for some crazy shit. That's ugh. Nah. Damn. Right in the soul. Right in the soul. It's burn. To the heart of me. Wow. <laughs> Burn through me. Yeah, but if you think like that, you know what I mean? You already, you'll be ahead of the game. Yeah. It's a cold world to live in, but. It definitely is if you think like you. that. If you think like that, yeah. Anything else, guys? We can get into the more, the double standards and the, and the yeah. hypocritical shit in relationships. 